I'm here in La Quinta, which is about 30 minutes from Palm Springs, California, and I'm looking for this place. I gotta tell you something, it was not easy to find, but I hear it's well worth it, because if you're looking for homemade, scratch-made, real-deal Mexican with a twist, they tell me this is the place, Chula Artisan Eatery. Get these eggs going poached here. This restaurant is absolutely amazing. It's an alternative to like traditional breakfast lunch places. I have the Chula fritters. What makes the food here so good? The different spins she puts on it. And the chef doing the spinning here is Catherine Gonzalez, who didn't have to go far from home to find her inspiration. I'm using recipes from mom, and then I kind of infused it with some of the things I learned. Mom's red chili chilaquillas. The chilaquillas are fantastic. I could eat those every day. The meat is so tender. The sauce is complex and flavorful. So what are we making? My mom's chilaquillas. We're going to make the rub. Salt, garlic powder. Paprika. Paprika, onion powder, and cumin. And it's going to go on the pork cushion. Braising liquid? A little bit in the bottom, yep. Go in the oven, 250? Whatever the oven's working at during the day. It okay. just goes in there. So, yeah, you can't, you can't wreck it. Next step? Red chili. Red chili. California chili. OK, California chili. I know my chili. Oh, yeah, you do know now. your chilies. Break off the stem. The seeds, when we dump them, we save them. We make our chili oil. So we're going to rehydrate these a little warm water. Leave them on the stove an hour and put them into the blender. A little bit of that water that we cooked them in. Hot tub and flavor tub. Then just a little bit of water to thin it out. Crushed Mexican oregano. Cumino, onion, the garlic, and the salt. Next up. We're going to make date and onion jam. Grapeseed oil, sweet white onion, dates. Add sugar to this, water. All that precise measurement that goes on here. You like that? And an immersion blender that's going to get messy. I'll be back here. That's like culinary napalm. Sugar and dates, it's that little sticky Bernie. We're going to let it cook right. down. So now we're going to make the mom's chilaquiles. OK, so. OK. So. OK, so. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> OK, I got you. Grape seed oil, sweet white onion, or house-made corn chips. Put the red chili sauce on top. Right. And then the pulled pork. You should call this dish next of Ken. You're going to be calling mine. Green onion, queso fresco. What uh, avocado slicing is that method? Here, how many do we give it? We give you like three. Ay, guy. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Dios mio. Do the microgreens, chili oil on That you here. made from the seeds that you kept? Yep, and a little bit of onion jam. For the wrong people, there'd be an egg on this. There would be an egg on that. Going for a personal best right now, and it's so hot. <laughs> That's it. That was more like a pig eating. <laughs> <laughs> the chile sauce, it's silky, a lot of chile flavor. You do this really dynamite pork, you go a little bit extra with that. The chips are nice and crunchy. The jam is just that kind of that funky little twist that makes it yours. That's the next level. Dynamite. Chilaquiles are in the window. The chilaquiles are amazing. The sauce is wonderful with them. 